Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Arkansas RC Newbie, and on today's episode, we're going to be doing a little bit of painting and a little bit of fabricating to my new body for my 110th crawler. And I know what you're thinking. Well, that body doesn't go on a 110th, or that's a monster truck body. Well, as I said, we're going to be doing a little bit of fabrication and making it work for my Class 2 rock crawler. All right, guys, let's jump into it. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I got this F100 body and um, I got it on a steal for like $27. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to make it work for my 110th uh, rock crawler, my RGT, right? Because that Jeep body, the JK, is just way too high up in the air. It's super top heavy. So I was thinking, you know what, if I get a truck or something, I can maybe put some stuff in the bed and get some scale points uh, or some tech points. And also, it's just going to be a lot lower because I think the limit's like four and a half inches from the bottom, the bottom of the door to the top of the roof. Now, this one's right at about five inches, so I'll be straight there. So it's definitely going to lower my center of gravity, at least I'm hoping so. So what I decided to do was let's go ahead and... Um, put it on my truck. So I got mounted on the chassis and the problem is with class two apparently you cannot have your wheel stick out further than your body, right? But my JK is pretty much the exact same way but the only exception is my JK has uh, front and rear uh, wheel liners, right? It's got um, the fender flares. So I was like, you know what, what if I go ahead and do a little bit of fabrication here or before I do, let's see if these fender flares on the JK, on the RGT, will actually fit on the Ford body. Or let's see how they look. So I went ahead, I unscrewed the fenders off of my JK, I kind of matched them up, and I think it's going to work, and I think I'll be able to get away with it, because, I mean, theoretically, um, the wheels do not go past the body, right? So uh, I went ahead and mocked everything up, I had to make a whole bunch of holes and just getting it all lined up, because remember, this body's still clear, we're going to be painting it here in a little bit, but um, I went ahead and mocked everything up, I think it looks pretty damn good, I'm pretty happy with the progress, and I was able to basically just swap out stuff off of my old body onto my new one. So I'm really wanting to make this Ford work. Well, let's go ahead and show you guys what paint I've decided to go with. And we're going to try to do a mixture. All right, guys. Well, this is what I decided to go with. I am not a professional, but it looks like you can go ahead and paint on the outside of the body. At least my uh, homeboy, Hick Jagger, uh, he let me know that I need to scuff up the body and then I can paint it. So what we're going to be doing, my base coat is going to be brown. And I'm just going to put this entire all over the body, right? Because what I want to do is scuff it up a little bit and make it look weathered. We'll probably do splotches of black on there. And this is going to be the uh, um, this is going to be the outside, the main color of the body. This is called aqua. And I know it's a really popular color. I've done seeing there and everybody's doing this color, but it's going to go perfect with the Ford body. So guys, um, let me go ahead and wash the body up. I've got the stickers. I'm going to uh, put them on the outside of the body, I guess. We'll go ahead and scuff this sucker up, and we'll start spraying, and let's see if everything kind of matches up or looks good. I don't know. It's my first paint job on a on a crawler body ever. So uh, yeah, let's, um, let's get this thing taped up. Let's wash it up, and let's get ready to rock and roll. I'll make sure that paint sticks. Even though I'm going to be sanding some of it off. Don't want that crap chipping, so I'm hoping if I do things right and I prep it correctly, I won't have those issues. All right, guys, she's sanded. Oh, and here we go, no turning back. We're gonna go with the uh, brown first. Now I should start here. I am going to sand through, try to make it wore out a little bit, have a, some wear. I don't want to go too thick with this. All right, let's let this coat dry. All right, guys, well, she's pretty dry now. I think the coverage is just fine for what I'm looking for. Since I want to kind of keep this, that rust brown look on the inside of the bed, got me a piece of paper cut out. So I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this in here and hopefully I could just get around it somewhat. All right, here we go with the blue. I don't know how this is gonna go. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. I'm gonna have to go a little bit heavy on the edges. That's not terrible. I might just have to do that black. I might just do that black. Thank you. 
All right, guys, we're almost done. You guys wanna look at the truck there. And what I've been doing, I should've did this in the beginning instead of sanding it through while it was wet because it kinda looks like crap. I got me a little like 57, 57 cent brush and my spray paint. And I'm just spraying the corners of this or the whole edge of it. And then what I'm doing is kinda like some mud effects on the side there. I'm just kinda blotching it, you know? And I think that looks pretty cool. Um, it's a heck of a lot easier doing this as opposed to, um, trying to sand all that you know but it's kind of working there's some little touch-up stuff that kind of stuff right there doesn't look too bad but we're just about done so I'm just gonna keep on dabbing some of this stuff up in the front and it kind of blends it in decent it doesn't look so rough this kind of adds to it here kind of go there and just swipe it straight down here what do you guys think let me know in the comments what do you guys think for the first time it looks a little crappy it's gonna it's a little thick in the doors I said I went too heavy but I kind of like that black bed. I don't know, you kind of see the door jams there. I don't know what you guys think about that. Maybe I should have done them in black, but I don't think they're too bad. All right, guys, now I did do a little rookie mistake. Do you guys see the inside there? You can notice it's kind of uh, brown, and the reason why is because after I got done sanding it, I was like, okay, let's go ahead and brown the inside. So I started shooting all the inside just in case you could see some clear, and I sprayed over all this. So that took about 30 minutes. I had to get some alcohol and rub all the paint off of there. But let's go ahead and peel this and see how we did. Okay, let's hope these lines still look good. Now, if you guys are still sticking around, I'd appreciate it if you guys give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, please. Um, it's an awesome... Uh, Awesome thing to be a part of. Awesome community. And I appreciate you guys watching and liking. And all the support that everybody's been showing me, man. It's been really cool. So, all right. I guess it could be worse. I mean, it was completely brown. So, the back glass here. So, I mean, most of you guys are probably from Arkansas that are watching this. Um, it is so muggy here, guys. Uh, I mean, look at my skin. It's just, I'm, I'm freaking, I'm sweating right now. I just got a ball of sweat on me. But um, I think that was the biggest deal was painting in the outdoor environment and it just being so hot. And I couldn't have the fan going all crazy because um, I wanted to get some audio for you guys, a little bit at least. Yeah, I kind of scratched up the windows a little bit. It's kind of not too bad. I kind of scratched them up, getting that paint off of there. Let's see if we got a nice line. A little bit of brown on the outsides. Here we go. Okay, a little dirty. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. We got a little bit of a brown streak up on the top, but I am okay with that. I really am. Wow, well, what do you guys think, man? It's my first crawler body. Heck yeah, that I painted myself. So I'm gonna put the fenders on this thing. And uh, let's see if I can get these fenders on there. We'll see how they fit up, guys, and then we will call it a day. All right, guys, well, it is late. Um, we finally got the RGT finished. Doesn't look like an RGT anymore. Oh my God, we got the fenders, the decals. Are you guys ready to see this? All right, Arkansas RC newbie. Here we go, I'm brand new, my first paint job. Let's look at it. Bam, what do you guys think? Does that thing look sweet or what? The color come out really good. I'm not too sure about those little body lines I put on there, but um, man, I think it come out pretty good for my first time. Uh, this thing is going to be awesome in the crawling department. Um, we're going to be taking this spare off, of course, and on the wheelbase, I think I'm allowed two inches of frame, so I'll probably cut it somewhere back here. Probably stick with that whole front end on there. But yeah, man, we got the lights and everything else to go on there. My chains on the front. I'm going to put some chains and some tail lights right here on the back um, just to go ahead and um, get some more, uh, some more tech points on there. But man, come out pretty good. There's bugs stuck in the paint because it's not completely dry. Got some uh, door handle stickers on there. I, for one, I think the fenders look really good on this truck. I don't think they're a problem at all, man. Um, yeah, I think we look excellent back there. I'm going to have to settle that back down a little bit. Look how high up that sucker's sitting. But 
All right, guys. Well, man, that is how it's done. <laughs> Arkansas RC newbie style. Uh, hopefully, you guys uh, appreciate the video. Please like, please subscribe. Uh, turn on notifications on them because I'm trying to do a video once a week. And the um, crawler competition had gotten canceled this last week is why we had to jump to something like this. It took a little longer to get out there. But all right, guys. Well, until next time, we will see you out on the trails. Happy crawling. Bam, there's the RGT.